right, here we are, YouTube. It is Monday, June 27th and 9.58 a.m. I'm in here at the Jim Jacks, and I got Josh Wells and Tyler Shatley. Josh Wells plays offensive lineman for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tyler plays offensive lineman for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Right now we are warming up with the sled, single leg glute bridge ups, and foam rolling our hips and glutes and hamstrings. We're going to do a couple rounds of this, and then we're going to start our leg workout. We have about five weeks left, four weeks left of, yeah, actually, sorry, only four weeks left of our off season until they have to report. So today we're going to push it pretty hard. They can manage to be sore and we're pushing the food as well. Time to get better. The reason why it's important to foam roll while you're getting warmed up is because you don't want to let that fascia and let the muscle get stiff. You wanna make sure it's broken down and loosened up. You want to get blood flow. I use foam rolling as like an ironing technique. You got wrinkles in your shirt before you go out, you got to iron. Same thing with our muscles. You got wrinkles in your muscles, you got adhesions. If you foam roll before you work, you're going to look better, you're going to feel better. And it's injury prevention. Good, after we do these foam rolling, I want one more round of the same thing. Hold. Cool. Another round of two, sorry. Darcy over there doing her thing. Low plank holds. Tyler being an idiot. Good, bridge ups. These are eight yard bursts with 90 pounds. Good, Josh. Today's workout is going to be hamstring, adductor, and glute focused. We're going to work time under tension techniques and drop sets. Alright, so we are in our fourth round of our first exercise combo. We are doing adductors with machine hip thrusts. We've worked up in weight and everything we're doing is for full reps, time under tension. We started out with holds for 20 seconds on both exercises. Good. set we are going to take weight off and we're going to do drop sets for our final set good Josh perfect all the way out one two in the middle big stretch big squeeze good Tyler
going to feature every single movement we do today because there's a lot of technique secrets that I use with my NFL guys and just pro athletes in general that if you want to have access to, you gotta be a client. Um, right now we are doing single leg dumbbell, sorry, single leg kettlebell deadlifts. And we have three sets of eight. This is after we've pre-fatigued the hamstrings and glutes a lot. We've worked a lot of flexion and extension on our posterior chain. So we don't need to go as heavy. What we're working on right now is really stretching everything out on that single leg that we're balancing on, working the stability from the ankle to the knee to the hip. This is injury prevention and strength training. So we just finished up single leg leg press. I didn't get that one on camera either because we did it in a way that our technique is specific to working the adductor, working the foot position specifically that improves knee flexion. Now we are doing ladder, or sorry, hurdle drills, down and back twice, and therapy ball crunches. Good, go. Good, rotate. What is up YouTube? So, had an awesome day and uh, did legs this morning with Josh and Tyler. And I just wanna do a recap, let you guys know the methodology and the mindset behind our workout this morning. Uh, we started at 10 o'clock, I got there around 9.45. Josh got there, Tyler got there at 9.30 and they got loose, they started to warm up. Um, when I got there, they were ready to start their workout. Now, their workout with me still includes a warm-up which was featured. And the warm-up today was for the posterior chain. We started with ele heel elevated, single leg glute bridge ups, and we supersetted that with um, eight yard sled bursts with 90 pounds, uh, sorry, 135 pounds on the sled. So that's the sled plus 90 pounds in weight. Um, we did two rounds and then we foam rolled, and then we did two more rounds, and then we foam rolled again, and then that is when we started our workout. Um, why is that important to feature in this video? If you do not care about your workout or your warm-up, that means you really don't care about your workout. Your warm-up is very, very important and has a lot to do with how your workout is going to go. If you have a lazy warm-up, you're most likely not going to be able to push it and have the most efficient workout. I see people come in the gym all the time and they get loose while they're lifting weights. And I understand working into your weights, but doing something prior, I always get into the gym and do something with resistance bands and then I foam roll and then I do a light workout with weights and then I foam roll and then I really start my workout. Um, and that's just because as I've gotten older, I've realized the importance of taking care of your body prior to lifting hard. And it, it kind of sets the tone to see where you're at and know how you're going to respond to the workout at hand. Um, today, uh, Josh just came off of a, like a five, six day rest where he was um, enjoying the beach and, and had some good family time and some good food. Tyler, he's been um, working hard, but prior to that, Josh and Tyler both have not had a, had a lot of time off. They've been working very, very hard. So the workout today was, it was a good tempo workout. We did not train very heavy, um, but that doesn't mean we didn't lift quality amount of weight. Um, and the reason why I bring that up is because a lot of times I see people in the gym and they think that if they lift more weight that they will then have the, the, the look or the power or the performance that they're looking for and that doesn't always transfer. 
Um, building more muscle and lifting heavier is important, but there's a lot of ways to accomplish that other than just always stacking more weight on the bar or on the machine. So one of the techniques that I like to use and I'm a big fan of is time under tension techniques. So we like to load the muscle in a pre-fatigue manner so that we simulate getting deeper into the muscle as if we lifted more or heavier weight, creating more stress without having lifting at, lifted as heavy. Um, the theory on that is that it preserves the muscle to be able to work longer and get more production out of the muscle into the workout. Because you're not having to go as heavy, you also have a decreased um, risk of injury. And if you do have an injury, it typically happens on and I'm sorry, you don't have an injury, but if you ever do have a tweak, it typically happens on the hold and your leg cramps first. So it's never worse than a minor strain. And that is not the same or your true if you're just stacking weight on the bar and working on bar speed only. So I know I just said a lot, but what it comes down to is a quality movement always supersedes lifting heavy. Now the goal is to lift heavy and have the most quality of movement. Then the tertiary goal on top of that is lift heavy, quality movement, and time under tension. So we're getting a deeper layer, in, deeper and deeper layers into the muscle by using these theories and these methodologies without putting the risk of injury on the body. So um, Josh and Tyler are both almost, I think they're at their ninth or 10th year in the NFL. Um, they know how their body responds to different workouts, especially with working with me for as long as we have. And um, I'm thankful that they trust me to push their bodies and, and put them in a position where they can still make progress and still improve safely. And I mean, we have three and a half, four weeks left of quality work before they have to report and at that point, you know, it's just implementing a lot of schemes and, and they're, they're, they're always working year round, but right now is a time where we are eat, sleep, train, hyper-focused. And some other professionals might not be as hyper-focused as we are, but we see these, this as a window where we can make so much progress by feeding and fueling our body so that when we head into camp, we're way ahead of everybody else. We're not tired. We're not getting in shape at camp. We're coming into camp in shape being leaders. And that's what we want to represent, and that's what we stand for. So um, just want to finish this video with that information. Tomorrow morning, I'm training Josh again. Tyler can't make it. Um, we are doing chest. Stay tuned.